things as big as my face. That is amazing. Don't eat me. Woo. Do you see it? Too, but this first few days getting back into schedule and routine and all the kids being in class, it's a lot. Um, everybody's tired and grouchy by the end of the day, so just making it through is an accomplishment. Um, talk to me again after five full days in the classroom and my kids having five full days of teaching, so that might be a whole other ball game, but um, we made it to the weekend. I am going to hopefully include this on um, this week's uh, weekly highlights just because it is technically part of the week anyways, but uh, I am trying to motivate myself to get out of my car with the air conditioning because it's already 90 degrees and um, it's going to be insanely hot today just as it has been this whole week. Um, I want to say we're like 10 days consistently above 100 degrees um, and I don't think the heat dome is going to go anywhere until maybe midweek next week so it's just hot and miserable. We're kind of limping things along here in the garden. My task today um, is going to be uncovering all of our delicata, our fall squash. Um, my plan was to spray it with something called kaolin clay and it's a water soluble um, and it, it um, coats your plant's leaves and coats the uh, weed mat around it with like a white powdery substance. It looks really weird, but it helps um, protect your crops from the heat. It actually deflects the sunlight up off of your plants. So um, it gives them kind of a break, if you will, from the heat. And it also, since it coats the leaves and stems, it uh, acts as a bug protectant as well. But I'm concerned these beds are set up on uh, overhead irrigation instead of drip, which is not ideal. So I'm concerned if I uncover them and spray them with this stuff that it's just gonna get washed off. So I'm gonna take a look and see what the plants look like underneath all this and then kind of make a judgment call as to whether or not I wanna go ahead and use the kaolin clay or if I want to wait and then have these set up where I can uh, flood the walkways by hose instead of having the overhead going. Um, we honestly need to redo our entire 
irrigation system out here. Um, what we had it set up for was just beginning of the farm. We were learning things as we went and kind of flying by the seat of our pants, honestly. So everything out here is set up for overhead, which is great for some crops and definitely needed for direct zone things. However, for other crops like my squash and my zucchini or like kale, um, let's say Swiss chard, anything like that that's going to be in fabric, they really don't need the overhead unless it's just insanely hot and you're trying to cool the climate around them. Um, it would be better for those types of things to be set up through drip because it's you, you don't water your plants through the leaves, you water them at the base um, through their root system. So uh, it's on the list of things that need to be addressed and or changed out here. Um, but that's a really big project, so who knows if we get to that or not. Um, Whitney has been amazing this week. Excuse me. He um, picked up as much slack as he could during the days, just checking on things and coming down, making sure water was running the way it should be. Uh, he helped with deliveries this week. He actually did all of our stuff up to Oklahoma City uh, because I, I couldn't. Um, I'm in the classroom from 7.30 until 3, 3.15. So it's, it's definitely been an adjustment for all of us. Um, but now that we kind of know what to expect and exactly we have a plan for the direction things are going to take this fall, um, I think it's, it's going to be a good thing. So uh, anyways, I, I guess I have to get out and go be in the heat. So I'm going to do that. I'll turn my camera real quick and show you kind of what I've been talking about, but I've got four beds in front of me that need to be uncovered. Um, and then we'll decide if we want to do the clay today or not. So stay tuned. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. And as you can see, everything has grown up so much that it's now touching the tops of the uh, bug netting here and it's needing more space to kind of stretch out. So I'm gonna come through here pull all these out so we don't lose them and just uncover each of these beds um, and get them more space to grow so One bed that's really 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 well established we planted those first and the other three looks like I have some failure and then they're on the small side so after seeing what everything looks like I am gonna go ahead and use the kaolin clay um, my concern is that these smaller plants I mean they've been well acclimated to the heat but now I'm taking the shade cloth off and I just don't want to put them any under any excuse me put them any under put them under any more additional stress than what is absolutely necessary there we go I got it that time um, so I'm gonna go grab that stuff it just mixes up it's water soluble I have to do it through the pump sprayer and I'm just gonna walk through and spray the leaves and spray the weed mat around each of these plants and it will hopefully um, help them adjust and give them some protection from the, hot, the, the heat and the bugs, so. All right, so I've measured out what I need. It's roughly three cups per gallon. Um, so I've got this in here and I have to mix it in my bucket first because I'm gonna be using the backpack sprayer and the stuff as you can see is kind of thick um, and the backpack sprayer doesn't agitate it. So the instructions say to go ahead and mix it um, externally and then pour it in. So, and I really don't want to mess up my backpack sprayer. So I'm going to find a stick or something that I can use to stir all this stuff. 
surely there's something around here. Um, do that and then pour it in and take it down to spray. See, it's super weird because it turns everything white. I'll show you a picture of when I'm done, but uh, it really does make a difference. I'm actually gonna make sure I spray the fabric too because that will help reflect some of the sunlight and the heat from the sun off these guys. Make sure everything gets coated really well. Thanks. 